What is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day because mine's not the best so far. Good old Stacy over here has got to go to the body shop because she's got a hole in her. And by hole in her I mean a rust hole because this car has over 200,000 kilometers on it and she's miled out. So we got to fix that. If you guys did not know this already, all of the 2008 to 14 STI hatchbacks have a very, very common issue once they get decently high mileage on them. In Canada at least. This might not be like this in the States, but in Canada where there is snow and lots of salt and calcium on the roads in the winter in the rear quarter panels at the front of them these things rust like crazy i'll pop a little picture up on the screen here of what mine looks like on the left side which is actually okay this side can be cleaned up and undercoated and it's not rusted through it's just starting to surface rust but on the driver side of the car there's a hole rusted right through into the whole side skirt of the car so if you guys saw last video we got the engine pulled out of the WRX. We still got a whole bunch of work to do on this thing, but I got to take a break from that car because today we got to pull off the side skirt on the passenger side of the STI and we got to pull apart the whole interior because when they're going to be re-welding a panel into this quarter panel here, I got to take the rear seats out and all the interior pieces so that if they're going to weld anything, they're not going to burn anything up on the interior. So first thing we're going to do here, I'm going to get the car moved forward a bit so that I have some more space at the back. Then I'm going to get the side skirt pulled off the passenger side of the car and then we can start ripping the back seats out and ripping the whole rear interior out of the car. I'm a little bit on a time constraint here. It is currently 1136 and we got to get this all apart by at least 1230. So we got an hour. Let's get it. We got the side skirt off of the right side of the car. Now the body shop won't have to pop any of that off. And now that the lighting is shining in there, you guys can see the rust hole in the back of the quarter panel that was hiding behind the rear fender liner, which is terrible. And there's so much dirt and dust that's just blowing right into the rocker of the car because there's a big ass hole there. So now the next thing that I need to do is get the interior of the car ripped apart. So I'm thinking what they're gonna need access to is right in front of the quarter panel, kind of right here on the interior. So what I'm gonna do to start, we're gonna pull out the bottom of the back seat. We're gonna pull out the whole back part of the back seats. And then I'm just gonna rip everything out of the trunk too, just in case, like a spare tire, the cargo liner, everything like that. And then I don't know if we're gonna take apart those trim panels on that side, but we'll see as we keep going. Twelve twenty-seven, baby, right on time. We now finally have everything torn out of the interior that we need so that they don't burn any of the interior pieces when they're welding or cutting holes or anything like that over there. So we got the back seat bottom torn out, both back seat backs torn out, spare tire, everything in the rear of the car. And then I did end up taking out all of the panels on that one side just to be sure they took like two minutes to take out. So I figured why not? And we got an absolute mess of parts going on here. Got all the back seat backs and the trim panels up top there. Then we got everything else sitting on the roof of the WRX. I thought I got everything out here. You can see everything's all clear. There's nothing that's going to get burnt or anything. All there is is wiring harnesses, but they'll move all that when they're cutting. And now I realize the only other trim piece that I missed is this one. Because if they're going to be cutting right here in that section and welding, that trim piece is pretty close. So I'm going to get that trim piece popped off real quick. That actually came off really nice. Mint, now she's good to go. All right, now that we got absolutely everything torn apart that we need to, let's get this thing pulled out of the shop and get another cold start for the boys.
Before we leave the shop, I just wanted to show you guys how much freaking dust and dirt and gravel came out of the side skirt when I took it off the car. There's literally like a four inch pile there. And it was all sitting in this damn side skirt. Living in the country is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Well, she's outside now and looks really weird without a side skirt on that side. It looks like a monster truck, kind of. I do like the beefy look on the tires, though. Looks pretty sick. And this thing driving with no interior in the back, even just pulling it out of the shop, is so freaking loud. You can just hear everything rattling in here. Before I leave, though, I figured I'd give the boys a quick update on the Civic. Good old Nikki over here. This car right now is pretty much bone stock. All it has is the RPF ones on it and I built a NVIDIA N1 exhaust on it. The reason I say I built an NVIDIA N1 is because that tip is off of a 2015 STI. I just welded it and built my own pipes underneath the car. But if you look at this side of the car, it looks like a football player slammed into it. So she's got a big old dent on the rear quarter panel, which is honestly not a big deal because it had a little bit of rust starting here. I tried to fix it and use a little bit of Bondo. Turned out not bad, but my paint job is all snake skinny and looks terrible. So that whole quarter panel is gonna get cut out of the car and get a whole new panel welded in. So the way this is working is I'm dropping the STI off at the body shop first. They're gonna weld a new panel in here since I suck at body work or else I would try and do this myself. Everything else on the car is done by me. I just don't paint and I don't do body work. But maybe one day I will. I got a lot of learning to do though. So this car is getting dropped off and getting that quarter panel fixed. Then I'm gonna be driving the Civic for the next week or so. Then as soon as the STI is done, I'm basically doing a car swap, picking up the STI and the Civic is getting dropped off to get this whole panel replaced. Then once that panel is replaced on the Civic and we get it back from the body shop, I finally pulled the trigger and I ordered a eBay turbo kit for the Civic. We ordered a CX Racing turbo kit, DW1200 injectors, and a DW340 liter per hour fuel pump, which is gonna be sick. This thing's gonna rip. Like, I'm gonna say it's gonna make 350 to 400 wheel. Stock motor, we're not even pulling the engine out of it, we're just slapping a turbo kit on it, injectors, fuel pump. Then Matt Lee, my tuner, who tune the STI, which if you guys have not seen that video, I'll put a link up top to the dyno video. He told me that we're just gonna use his shop Honda and slap a tune on this thing. I might buy a Honda in the future just so that I can monitor my own stuff and flash new tunes on. But for now, just to keep it a budget build and spend under like, I'm gonna say $5,000 Canadian on this car to make close to, if not over 400 horsepower to the wheels, which is gonna be sick. I freaking love Hondas and I'm hyped for that build. Now that you guys got basically a full life update with the cars pretty much let's go drop stacy off at the body shop it is so loud in this car with no interior <laughs> oh my god the wastegate noises now. All right, boys, we made it to the body shop. Good old City Collision, which is the shop that painted this entire car and they painted the engine bay. So I'll put a link up top to the engine bay reveal video because that was when I was at like 50 subscribers or something like that, and that was sick. The video's not that good of quality, but I was so hyped. Well, let's go hand over the keys. I'm probably not gonna shove a camera in their face because I still don't like doing that. But yeah, I'm excited. There's no longer gonna be a big old rust hole in Stacy. I have the worst luck in the world. We get here, get all checked in, everything's all good. I come out and look at the car, and on the way here, I pass the gravel truck, and I saw a big rock fly, I didn't know if it hit me, and look at the massive freaking chip on this thing. It literally put a dent in the hood. That was on the way here, that was a gravel truck. Shot a rock and put a dent in the hood. Yep, now what? Now I guess I'm painting the whole hood again. Well, we are back from the paint shop now, back at the shop, and that rock chip definitely sucks, but I gotta get a new front bumper from when we hit that cat. I just hit a fucking cat. I just hit a cat. I just hit a cat. 
what the f which also sucked. I literally just have the worst luck with the body of that Subaru. So when we repaint that new front bumper, I'll just get them to sand the hood down and spray that as well. And then this time when I paint the hood, I think we're gonna do some type of PPF on it, maybe some 3M on the entire hood, the entire front bumper, just to keep it clean from any rock chest because living in Alberta, it is honestly impossible to take care of your paint, especially living on a gravel road. And when they're fixing roads, they lay down that cold mix asphalt and it's just all over the place. And when you run wide tires like me on the STI, you get rock chips everywhere. But now that the STI is gone and at the body shop, there is so much room for activities in the shop. So we got to get to work on tearing the WRX engine down, figuring out everything that that engine needs. We got to do full set of coilovers on this. We got a new set of rims and tires back there. Got to put rotors on it all around. New clock spring, new front seats, new right front axle. Because I just found out the other day that the right front axle boot is completely ripped open. And there's a bunch of other things on the list to do on the WRX. Hope you guys enjoyed the little update and interior teardown on the STI. After that little rust spot gets repaired, it is gonna be going to get the entire underside of the car, dry ice blasted and completely undercoated. So she looks like she rolled off the showroom floor. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Peace out you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video where we are tearing down the engine in the WRX.